Welcome back, everyone. Today we are diving into a story with some serious global consequences. Um, leaked U.S. intelligence on Israel's uh, alleged plans to strike Iran. You sent over a fascinating report on this from CCTV China Central Television. It's pretty wild. Yeah, this leak has sent, uh, well, shockwaves through the intelligence community. It's concerning. It's deeply concerning that this information is out in the open, especially since, reportedly, U.S. officials have confirmed that it's real. Right. This isn't just some random thing on the Internet. It's big news. CCTV says they got their info from a Telegram post by an account called Middle East Observer. Okay. And this account shared what they say are classified U.S. documents. Mm. Dated October 15th and 16th, marked top secret and restricted to the U.S., G7, and the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance. I mean, does it get any more top secret than that? Not really, no. The Five Eyes Alliance, you know, U.S., U.K., Canada, Australia, New Zealand, they share some of the most sensitive intelligence in the world. This kind of leak suggests either a major intelligence breach or even a deliberate leak. And the report says a U.S. official told CCTV these documents are the real deal. They're investigating who leaked them, mm -hmm. but so far, they haven't released them publicly. So how does CCTV even know what's in these top secret documents if the U.S. hasn't released them? Yeah, that's a good question. They're saying they got details from sources who have seen the documents. Okay, so what did those sources say? One document reportedly details specific locations in Iran targeted for strikes. And this is where it gets really interesting, right? The report doesn't specify what these locations are. So are the military bases, nuclear facilities? What is it about these specific locations that's important? Those are things intelligence analysts will be looking at. It's like trying to put together a puzzle with like half the pieces missing. Yeah. You, know? you know there's a bigger picture, but you just don't have all the information yet. And speaking of missing pieces, the report says another document hints at something Israel has long kept under wraps, their nuclear capabilities. Yeah, that's a very loaded statement. By even mentioning it, this document indirectly acknowledges Israel's undeclared nuclear arsenal, which they've always refused to officially confirm. Wow, that in itself is a huge revelation. Yeah. So what else is in this treasure trove of leaked intelligence? Well, according to the report, there's a document. It was prepared by the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, NGA, and it details Israeli munitions movements and preparations for a strike. The NG, those are the ones with all the fancy satellite imagery and maps, right? Exactly. They specialize in geospatial intelligence, think, satellite imagery, terrain analysis, target identification. The fact that they're involved suggests that these plans are very advanced, very specific. So they'd be able to tell us exactly where those munitions are going and what they're targeting? Potentially, yeah. Though, of course, we only have CCTV's word on that right now. The U.S. hasn't confirmed any of this. So we've got the NGA. They're potentially tracking Israeli military movements. Mm -hmm. But the report also mentions another U.S. intelligence agency being involved, the NSA. Right. According to the report, another document, this one reportedly from the NSA, describes Israeli Air Force air-to-ground missile drills. And this is significant because... Well, it suggests these drills are directly related to the potential strike on Iran. It's not uncommon for militaries to conduct drills, but the timing and nature of these particular exercises, at least as they're described in this document, raise some red flags. It suggests that Israel is actively preparing for a possible confrontation. Hold on, back up for a sec. You said the NSA supposedly has a document on this. I always thought they were more about intercepting communications, like phone calls and emails. Yeah, that's a common misconception. While the NSA is known for their signals intelligence capabilities, their expertise goes way beyond just, you know, phone calls and emails. They gather data from a wide range of electronic sources, including radar systems, weapon systems, even navigation signals. So they could potentially be intercepting communications related to these Israeli air-to-ground missile drills. Precisely. If Israel is planning an operation, the NSA would likely be privy to any electronic communications related to those plans, whether it's, you know, coordinating troop movements, targeting data, even just routine communication between pilots. The NSA has the ability to intercept and analyze that information. And that's what makes this leak so significant. It's not just about what Israel might be planning. It's about what it reveals about U.S. intelligence gathering. You know, we now know the U.S. has been monitoring these activities and probably a lot more very, very closely. OK, so the U.S. has eyes and ears everywhere, but someone just pulled back the curtain and exposed it all. That's got to have some serious consequences, right? Absolutely. The CCTV report, they said U.S. officials are very concerned, especially the possibility of even more documents being out there. They'll be working overtime to try to contain the damage, figure out how far this goes. And, you know, who's responsible? Well, speaking of finding the culprit, the report says that the FBI and intelligence agencies are all over this. 
trying to figure out who had access to these documents. Mm. Was it a disgruntled employee? Yeah. A spy? Someone who, like, left their top secret account logged in? What are they thinking? Those are all possibilities investigators will be considering. Was it a hack? An intentional leak? Mm. Something else entirely? An inside job where someone within the U.S. government leaked these documents on purpose? That would certainly send shockwaves through Washington. Think about it. It could be anything from, like, a disgruntled employee who feels wronged all the way to a whistleblower who's trying to expose something they think is wrong. Yeah, it's like trying to solve a mystery. And not just any mystery, but one with huge global implications. So how do they even begin to unravel something like this? It's not yeah. like they can dust for fingerprints on a digital document. Right. Digital forensics is a whole different ballgame. But it's essential in a case like this. They'll be looking at every digital breadcrumb, login records, download histories, even the possibility of someone printing these documents. And they won't stop there, you know? They'll be looking at backgrounds, connections, any signs of suspicious activity, contact with foreign governments. It's incredibly thorough. Okay, so let's say they find the source of the leak. Then what? What are the implications of all of this? Well, on a practical level, this leak could seriously damage relationships with allies, right? Yeah. Trust is paramount in intelligence sharing, and this leak, however it happened, has damaged that trust. You're saying that other countries might think twice about sharing intel with the U.S. if they think it's just going to end up on Telegram. Exactly. And it's not just about future intelligence sharing. It could jeopardize ongoing operations. If Israel was indeed planning an operation, they might have to reconsider their timeline, their strategy, maybe even scrap it altogether. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, if I knew someone leaked my playbook, I would definitely want to change things up a bit, too. And what about Iran? They're the potential target here. How, how do you think they're reacting to all of this? It's safe to say they're paying very close attention. This leak gives them valuable insight into what their adversaries, both Israel and the U.S., might be planning. It could prompt them to increase their defenses, maybe even take preemptive action. This situation is incredibly fluid, and it's impossible to predict with certainty how things will unfold. It's like a giant chess game, with every move having the potential to change the entire board. That's a great analogy. It highlights the incredibly complex web of alliances and rivalries at play here. This leak adds yet another layer of complexity to an already volatile situation. The Middle East is like a tinderbox, and this leak just threw a match on it. And then there's the question of how this impacts the already tense relationship between the U.S. and Iran. Right. The U.S. and Iran are already on shaky ground. This leak certainly isn't going to help matters. Depending on how things play out, it could even escalate tensions further. This is all so heavy, you know? Real lives, real countries, real consequences. It's a stark reminder of the high-stakes world of intelligence and international relations, isn't it? It really is. This entire episode has exposed a normally hidden world of espionage, secret alliances, and simmering conflicts. It's a stark reminder that things are rarely as they seem on the surface, and that actions taken in one part of the world can have ripple effects that we may not fully understand for years to come. It makes you wonder, are leaks like this just the tip of the iceberg? That's a million dollar question, isn't it? We've discussed the content of the leak documents, but to really understand the implications, we need to ask ourselves, where did this information come from in the first place? Right. We've talked about the potential for a hack or an inside job by a disgruntled employee or a whistleblower. But what are the chances this was intentional? Could this have been a strategic move by someone or even another country to stir the pot? That's where things get really interesting. The CCTV report doesn't offer any definitive answers, but they do bring up some very intriguing possibilities. So we're like diving into some murky waters here, trying to figure out not just who leaked these documents, but why. Yeah. I mean, there's a big difference between like a, a disgruntled employee venting their frustration and, you know, a calculated move to influence like global events. Absolutely. And this is where things get especially interesting, right? To understand the why behind this leak, we need to think who benefits the most, who stands to gain from like sowing discord between the U.S. and Israel or derailing a potential military stripe on Iran. OK, so let's play like devil's advocate here. Yeah. If we wanted to cause some chaos, who are the usual suspects in this kind of situation? Well, there are several actors who might see an advantage in this situation. Um, countries or groups that are directly at odds with U.S. and Israeli interests in the region, they would have very obvious motivations. This leak could be a way to disrupt their plans, sow distrust among allies, and potentially, you know, reshape the geopolitical landscape in their favor. Well, not a direct attack, but like a strategic leak of information designed to just 
create chaos, uncertainty. Exactly. It's a classic example of information warfare, using information as a weapon to achieve strategic objectives without firing a single shot. It's kind of mind-boggling how much goes on behind the scenes that we just don't even know about. Yeah. You know, this leak. It might seem like a single event, but it really has the potential to trigger a chain reaction with, like, global consequences. Absolutely. And that's what makes this whole thing so fascinating and honestly a little bit terrifying. This deep dive, it's uncovered not just, like, a, a potential conflict brewing, but the shadowy world of intelligence gathering, the vulnerabilities of our digital age, the very real threat of information warfare. This highlights the fact that we live in a world where information is power. Those who control it or can manipulate it, they wield immense influence. It makes you appreciate the work that intelligence agencies do trying to stay ahead of these threats and the role that cybersecurity plays in protecting sensitive information. Absolutely. And it really underscores the importance of critical thinking for all of us, right? We are constantly bombarded with information from all sides. So being able to cut through the noise, evaluate sources, think critically about the information we consume is more important now than ever. You know, at the beginning of this deep dive, I thought we were just talking about a potential conflict in the Middle East. But it goes so much deeper than that. This is about the very nature of information in the 21st century. It's about trust and manipulation and this constant struggle to separate fact from fiction. Well said. This leak, no matter where it came from, has definitely shown a light on some very important issues that we should all be aware of. It really gives you a lot to think about. And I'm going to be honest, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed by all of this. It's a lot to process, for sure. But that's the mark of a truly insightful deep dive, wouldn't you say? It's not just about throwing information at you, but about sparking a deeper conversation and, you know, challenging you to see things from all these different angles. Mm, I could not agree more. Well, listeners, that is all the time we have for today's deep dive. But of course, the conversation is far from over. What do you think about all of this? Who do you think is behind it? Head over to our website. Let us know your theories. Until next time, stay curious.